What's up, Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers? It's Kush back at it again with another Giants update video. And guys, real quick before I even say anything, before I say what's up with it, shout out to all y'all, shout out to the viewers, the subscribers, and of course the members. Welcome into another one. How y'all doing? I hope everybody's all good, enjoying summer as it's officially beginning for a lot of people. The Giants offseason work piles have already officially begun. Rookie minicamp is over, and we're now kind of in between that little spot between rookie minicamp and OTAs where there's technically not anything going on. But with the Giants players, they're pulling up to the practice facilities, and they're getting as much work in as possible, which you love to see. And it even started with rookie minicamp. And now for the voluntary workouts in phase two, a lot of giants are actually going in and pulling up a lot of starters, actually guys that don't need to be there. And of course, if you guys remember last month, there was a statement released by the NFLPA for every single team. I'm going to quickly reread it to you guys that basically said they're not going to, you know, NFL players are not going to attend any type of voluntary workouts. This is what it said. Our team is a strong, unified brotherhood of professionals who love the game of football and work year round to perform affect our craft. We also have to make the best decisions to protect our health and safety, which is why players on our team are exercising our CBA right to not attend in-person voluntary workouts. We stand in solidarity with players across the league who are making informed decisions with the help of our union, both in the light of ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and what the data shows about the benefits to our overall health and safety. Now, when this was initially released, I personally, I thought that, ah, oh, man, we're not going to have that much people going to the off season workout programs. And while I respect their decision to do so, and if whether it's about COVID or whether it's about, you know, them, something with contracts and whatnot, it's always something with the money with between the NFL and NFLPA or, or it's something about getting better treatment, which I mean, all the power to them. In my mind, I was thinking health wise, I was like, yo. This might not be, be that good. This might be a repeat of last year where it's like they, they were not attending the programs that helped get their bodies back into shape. Or maybe they were doing it on their own. For example, you know, like Blake Martinez has his whole workout facility down in Arizona. What I, what I was thinking is not everybody has access to a place like that. And those guys who don't have access to a place like that are going to be risking injury because they're not getting their bodies, their bodies back into shape. But thank God, it's not just the Giants. It seems like league-wide, a lot of teams are having a lot of their players report in to these voluntary workouts. So I'm not exactly sure what that statement was. Either way, more than 40 Giants showed up to voluntary workouts yesterday. I'm sure either the same or even more amount of them will show up today. And of course, OTAs, guys, don't officially start until Monday. And then they run from Monday to that Wednesday or Thursday of that week, I think. Of course, if I had the dates mixed up, please uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty sure it's just like a, it's just some time between OTAs and rookie minicamp right now that we're in, where the players are allowed to go to the facility and allowed to practice one not get conditioning. And some examples of players that are there, Shane Lemieux and John Harrison pulled up. So we got our offensive line boys going to work, especially Lemieux who, you know, as of right now is gonna be looking to have that starting right guard position locked up and then John Harrison who may see some time currently the backup center who knows maybe some shifting around maybe an injury you god forbid happens and he sees some time as well but they're out there they're pulling up and of course guys the leader Daniel Jones is also at the voluntary workouts right now and this dude is just continuing to set an example for the rest of his team and continuing to show me at least you know he's putting in the work and effort that not that many quarterbacks will go to lengths to put in and i'm very very glad that he's doing that i just hope you know i truly hope it all pays off because you know dj from organizing workouts two years in a row with his receivers and with his offense to going to everything that he doesn't need to go to getting his body in shape keeping his body in shape working you know on his craft i really hope it pays off and i and i want to say it will i really do and I got to tell you guys this, I'm not sure whether the players let Judge know, you know, how many of them will be in attendance or, you know, how many of them will be ignoring the NFLPA statement. But, you know, Joe Judge is happy right now, man. This is, in my opinion, a complete effect of Joe Judge. You know, people call it the Joe Judge effect, where players are pulling up to voluntary workouts, 
even you know with pressure from the nflpa to not do so like this is amazing to me and once again it's not just and it's not just the giants you're seeing it from a couple other teams that are under similar situations in terms of you know a new coach involved or even like you know they're going under a culture change but with judge this is definitely the case like we haven't seen this in years prior with this many players going to the voluntary camps right we didn't see it with Shermer. we didn't see it with McAdoo um I can't remember what it was like with Coughlin if we did see it maybe we did maybe we didn't who knows maybe in his early years we did but we didn't towards his latter years because we all know Coughlin kind of softened up as he got on but you love to see the players legitimately buying in and just putting in the work that they need to and this is not something we've seen in recent years you know Sterling Shepard I got a quote from him here that kind of says that he says that, and this is more on Judge, he's a tough coach, but that's what we needed. For the previous two coaches, we didn't do any conditioning or anything like that, which I did not notice before. I'm not sure if you guys knew this before, but if Sterling Shepard is telling the truth there and he has absolutely no reason to tell, you know, a lie, and I, Sterling Shepard is not known to lie, obviously, he's a good dude. Man, that's terrible. Are you kidding me? Shermer and McAdoo did not do any conditioning? Like, do you guys realize how bad that is? That could be the reason as to why players keep getting injured. Like, you're not getting... That's part of getting your body into NFL-ready shape, into, you know, playing-ready shape, into just the flexibility is good, you know, making sure your muscles are all good, they're not going to cramp up, making sure your cardio is good, your endurance, all that, you know what I'm saying? Conditioning is part of training. Conditioning is part of exercising, just, just for regular people. And you're telling me these NFL professional athletes are not doing conditioning or we're not doing conditioning for the giants do you know how bad that is that's 100 gonna have an effect on play and 100 is gonna have an effect on their life somebody jokingly retweeted this um the same tweet i'm showing you guys right now um saying that that's the reason why ingram and shepherd are always injured and at first i laughed but then literally a second in it hit me i'm like he's not wrong you know what i'm saying like it it's not even that much of a stretch to say that a lack of conditioning will cause injuries. Especially with a guy with Ingram, although he did stay healthy last year, but we know from previous years, because we're talking about the previous two head coaches. With Shepard on the other hand, I mean, Shepard, uh, really the only injury I, that I can remember for him is turf toe, but it's usually concussions for him. But the Giants before 2020, which is funny, because, you know, 2020 is when we got Judge in here. It's almost as if the conditioning helped. But before 2020, we always had the injury bug on us. You guys remember the terrible 2017 under McAdoo. 2018 had a good amount of injuries as well. And so did 2019. You know what I mean? I mean, if we weren't doing conditioning then, and then according to Stone Shepard, are doing it under Judge. And then in 2020, we had some of like the least amount of injuries ever. And I know we had Saquon going with the ACL. I know we had Carter and Zimenez. But it's not as much as 2017, 18, and maybe 19. I'd say 17 and 18. And now, of course, you have the full offseason where you could do even more and maybe better planned out workout and conditioning for these players. But if Sterling Shepard, that's a bomb that he's dropping here that honestly should have gotten these guys fired right away, in my opinion. The whole training staff. Are you kidding me? No conditioning? Anyway, man, this is a quote from Joe Judge now also on the um, people that pulled up. Or, you know, just on the OTAs in general, he says, we've already scheduled and released the OTA dates. Obviously, it's a voluntary period, so we're going to work with every player we can, whether it's virtual or in person. So, obviously, whoever is there will coach in person. Whoever is virtual for the meetings, we'll work with them virtually. Some guys will be doing both. That's what Judge told the reporters over the weekend. And you got 40 players there right now, Judge. I'm sure more is going to pull up. And I'm loving it because even for the guys that are not there, for example, I don't think the defensive backs are there right now. But guess what? We all know they're down with Logan Ryan working out with um, Logan Ryan. And he's having them doing their own workouts and regimen, which looks really cool down in wherever they are. It's pretty sunny. But you guys have seen the posts on Instagram and on Twitter. They're putting in work, basically the entire defensive back group there with Logan Ryan. I'm not sure if uh, Leonard Williams is still working out with a fee, but the defensive linemen also got their thing going. Some of them, I'm sure, are going to pull up over time as OTAs go on. But the guys that are not there are doing work, and we, we know that they are. But you, you love to see it with this Giants team, man. Put your thoughts down below and let me know what you guys think. This is not something we've seen in recent years, man. Like, share, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'll catch y'all in the next one.